Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Okay, so... Um, first of all, I want to say that um, somebody here is very focused on the negative or on something that's not working between uh, them and another that um, they fail to see that there is still hope um, to salvage this relationship and that all is not lost here somebody is questioning their partner questioning they're trying to get the lay of the land we have the tower the partner the house the snake and the snake for me in this case i mean it could go two ways uh but i feel it's a lot of uh, negative thoughts somebody because the snake can be internal and i feel like it is somebody having a lot of thoughts uh, or negative thoughts about their partner about the relationship because of uh, something that isn't working or that they are unable to come to a, a agreement upon or, or compromise upon with their partner. Because that thing is not working, it doesn't mean that the relationship is not going to work. If this person could shift their focus to positive instead of negative this relationship can still be saved is what i'm trying to say i mean the reason this person is having all of these negative thoughts can come from uh something deeper that could go back uh over time to experiences or previous experiences that they had and um, although they may be thinking the other person is not being uh, reasonable or understanding or compromising it could in fact be uh, them that is uh, uh, being unwilling to compromise you know it's like pointing the finger at somebody but in, it actually points back at you um, and I think that this is something that comes from previous experience or uh, back goes back in time. All what I see here is that this relationship can work. That's what you need to know it can work so po focus on the positive you can get along you see three of cups there's the five of cups and this is th this is somebody who um is focused on the negative um on what didn't work or what isn't working that they're failing to see that there's still hope to salvage the relationship that all is not lost they just have to change this energy um change their thoughts change their focus shift a shift in focus they're looking to the future and it feels like this is about a decision for the future, but because of something that is not working between them, they're thinking of not following their heart. Their heart wants this relationship. The heart is in this relationship. But because of a bad experience or the way that uh, somebody is thinking because of a bad uh, experience, or a belief system they could make a decision they may later regret you see with the partner card 
um, this person would be asking themselves, well, who is this person to me? What do I love about them? Where are they in relation to where I am? Where are we going and what are we doing together? So there's all kinds of questions, you know, going through their mind. Can I rely on them? Are they going to betray me? Um, or, or maybe they feel that they are betraying them because they're not willing to compromise or it feels like they're not uh, being understanding. Do we belong together? This is getting the lay of the land. It looks to me like you have a divine union here. It, it looks to me like this person uh, is the right path, but you're not seeing it. It's not working because of somebody's state of mind. And this is you being so focused on what's not working or what is lacking that you could make a sudden decision um, it's like um, making a sudden decision to leave or to end the relationship because you feel like you're you you can't rely on this person or that you're being burned or betrayed by this person that they betrayed you in some way that uh, that maybe they're not good for you because they're they're unwilling to compromise on something. Um, this is what you're evaluating. Well, the relationship's not growing because they're not willing to see my point of view or they're not uh, willing to compromise. Um, see, this is about taking an action or taking a stand here because you're so focused on what didn't work you're taking a stand, taking a, or thinking of taking a decision to take a stand, um, not to give in to something here uh, that you, this is a decision you may later regret. So you need to think twice about this because this can be, see, you're preparing to turn down a relationship that your heart wants because of something that's not working or or that they're not agreeing to this relationship is your ten of cups this relationship is your happily ever after this is the direction you should be taking but you may falter here you may step off the path here because of a negative mindset. You can overcome your difficulties. It says, it's all saying it right here, but yet you are prepared to turn this down. Because maybe you're not ready to see their point of view. You're thinking about it, but it's so, you know, it's not too late for you to change your mind about this because you're thinking of making a decision. Uh, and I'm telling you, you need to rethink this because this, you're, you're about to, to turn down an opportunity uh, of uh, your happily ever after. You're about to close the door on it because of a way of thinking. For some reason, you're trying to keep your, your emotions under control here when it comes to, uh, to the heart. Yeah, so you're trying to control this, you see. Um, the fool in the upright wants to follow his heart, right? Uh, but you have it in the reverse. It's like you're denying the heart what it wants. You're going to try to keep those emotions under control. 
because of some obstacle that's heavily on your mind, and which has to do with that Five of Swords. You will lose a lot more than you bargain for because you can salvage it. It's saying here again, you can salvage it. You can move this to a better place. You need to get rid of these swords first. Okay, there's some uh, experiences that you have that are hidden, that are the driving force behind these negative thoughts. Um, love does live here. You can have that Ace of Cups. But for some reason, it's like you feel... It's, it's like you feel you won't get or you're not getting what you want from this. Um, the deer is about a uh, gentleness. It is about a gentle approach, diplomacy. It says to step gently onto the path for you're walking into a time uh, when gentle movements and diplomacy are required. Remain calm. You're trying to resolve a tense situation here and you're about to make a decision you're going to regret. Perhaps you need to think before you speak and choose your words carefully. You need to deal with people in a sensitive manner right now without upsetting or offending them. This can be a negotiation, an attempt to find a resolution, um, a peaceful resolution. It is important that you be gentle with yourself as well because you're heading into a period where you're unsure of your footing. Walk softly, the deer says, and the way forward will be smooth. A gentle approach and diplomacy are the way through this energy. A shift in focus from the negative to the positive. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for um, subscribing. Also, thank you to uh, everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.